Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Welcome to another edition of Fight Sticks of the Month. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if this is your first Fight Sticks of the Month video, welcome. Every month I go over the best of the best from Reddit Fight Sticks. If you have a fight stick and you want it showcased in one of these videos, it's really simple and straightforward. Just post it on Reddit Fight Sticks. I browse this subreddit quite often, and if I see a stick I like, it makes it into this video. If you're new to fight sticks or want to get involved with fight sticks, check out the community as well. There are a ton of really knowledgeable, really talented, and really nice community members here. It's a great place to start. So for this month, we'll start out with some sticks that just made me smile, and we have this one right here. The description is, it's tacky and I love it. I oddly enough love it too. It's the weirdest thing ever. It doesn't even make sense. Like the Mountain Dew doesn't even play into anything here. Uh, but the overall aesthetic of the stick turned out really well. It's oddly satisfying. Next up, we have this cursed Old El Paso Taco Kit Box Fight Stick. I just, I don't understand the purpose behind this one. It's not even good cardboard. This cardboard is really flimsy. You can see the buttons are already mangled. And uh, they actually use screws for the joystick. I don't understand what's going on here. They even put LEDs in it. Uh, this thing is cursed. It's hilarious, but cursed. Here's another cardboard box fight stick, but this one turned out a heck of a lot better. They used a cereal box here for corn pops. The color theme actually works. They matched up the buttons with the color theme here. The button placement looks good. Overall, this turned out really well for a $40 fight stick. Here's another one that probably should never have seen the light of day. I have no idea what's going on here. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It does look a little bit more sturdy than that old El Paso kit. Uh, but at the same time here, it doesn't make any sense. It would crinkle. It's not practical. I mean, if you brought this to a tournament and you beat an opponent with this thing, that might make them really salty, so that alone might make it worth it. Here's someone with a really good idea to build a fight stick on the cheap. Instead of using a flimsy cardboard box, just head to a thrift store and pick up a wooden box here. This one looks like an old chess or a checker set maybe. Uh, there's some really good ideas and maybe you can pick something up for next to nothing. Two people this month decided to repurpose old PS3s and they turned out all right. I mean, it hurts a little bit to see an older console kind of mangled, I, I don't want to say mangled, kind of repurposed into a fight stick, uh, especially this PlayStation 2. But at the same time, if it's functional and it works, more power to you. This stick here has a very weird layout. I don't quite understand this one. I mean, we're, we're looking at a bunch of different things going on here and also not a lot at the same time. There's so much space on the face of this fight stick. But hey, if it works, it works. We'll move on into some more functional designs here. Here is the Hori Fighting Stick Mini, one fight stick that I think is an amazing choice for beginners. If you take a look here, they replaced the joystick with, I think that's a T-spin, and it turned out great. This person here took modding their Hori Fighting Stick Mini one step further. They replaced the joystick with an Odin, and they also replaced the board on this one with a Brook UFB. This is a really nice job. Here's an old Sega Genesis stick that has received quite a bit of an update and an upgrade. They replaced the buttons here with Cherry MX switches, and they also replaced the PCB on this one with a Brook wireless board. This thing is now compatible with a ton of different systems, and it's wireless. Great job. Lately, I've been seeing a bit of an evolution in fight sticks. A lot of people are going with their own button layouts here, adding additional buttons. This is a 3D printed fight stick, and it takes things one step further. It's glow in the dark as well. We really don't see many of these around. And if you take a look, these are Cherry MX switches, not Sanwa, not Samitsu. Great job. Next up, we have this custom hitbox cross-up with a WASD layout. I like how this one turned out. I like the button labeling here, especially on the top. The color coordination works, and overall, this one looks good. Here's an interesting button layout. It's a fight case. They made a briefcase into a fight stick. I don't necessarily agree with this button layout. It's a little bit weird, but at the same time, if it works for them, it works for them. And you can see it is using a Brook wireless board, and they did try to make the wiring pretty clean. Here's a wooden stick that also gives you a couple different control options. Here's an Ikea stick with a really weird button layout. I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this one. This person salvaged a Mayflash F500, and the end result is amazing. Props to using Giovanna from Guilty Gear Strive, my favorite character in the game so far. 
Uh, but this turned out really, really nice. I like the color scheme. This person's first custom all button controller turned out really, really nicely. I like the wood engraving here. I initially thought it was cracked, but that's the wood grain. Overall, this one turned out really nice and I like the choice of metallic buttons. This wooden fight stick looks straight up clean. I like the colors they went with for the buttons here. I also like this beveled edge on the side. They smoothed it out so it's not sharp. And speaking of smooth, check out this stick here. The curves on it are just extremely nice. This stick was polished off great. Next up, this is probably the thinnest wooden fight stick that I have ever seen, and it turned out great. I especially like the cable placement on the side here. It's not in the way at all. It's simple, it's clean, and it looks classy. I can completely agree with this person. They couldn't decide what they wanted more, a hitbox or a stick, so they decided on both. I think that was a great choice because this turned out really nicely. I like the wood that you use, the finish on this is nice, and the edges are nicely beveled. This last wooden stick that I'm highlighting really isn't a stick at all. I mean, it's got a wooden box, but it's not what's on the outside, it's what's on the inside that matters here. This is a brand new titanium ball top from Buttercade. I love the innovation. Before I go into the next group of sticks, I just wanted to take a second here and highlight this one. This is this person's first time build. And if you take a look at it, the wiring on this one is insane. It's very clean and very impressive for a first timer. So congratulations and I can't wait to see what's next. This next group of sticks I'm going over just have a good overall theme. We'll start out with this one here, old but still fighting. They say they're in their 40s and they're a terrible OG player. Now when an OG player says they're terrible, they're usually pretty good and that's what I'm gonna assume here. So I like the font they used here for old but still fighting. And something that's really clever is the fact that they went with gray hair for all of these characters. It ties in really great. On top of that, the buttons here I think tie in with Honda. I would assume they're probably a Honda player. I might be wrong, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but overall, this is a very clever and very well thought out stick. This stick here from JXK Designs is amazing. Well, almost everything they build is amazing, but this one turned out really good. So the theme here is nice, everything ties in great, and it's very loud, it's very vibrant. Take a look at these LEDs and how they light up everything. Well, that's what LEDs are supposed to do, but you know what I mean with the glow overall here. Now, if I flip over to the back of this thing, uh, oh, something else I wanted to point out too. If you take a look at the shaft and dust cover, it's very well thought out. It matches the side buttons here, it matches the yellow graphics. The back of this thing, the bottom, I guess you could call it, uh, the eyes, I don't know if this is LEDs or just the way they took the photograph, but I really like how they pop. Here's another Espada that also happens to be loud. They used every inch of this for artwork. They didn't waste any space whatsoever. And I like the theme here, the black, the whites, the greens, everything ties in really nicely. I like the little effects around the buttons that they did. And it continues on on the back here, on the sides. And I think even the buttons on the sides also have the green. Yeah, they do. Uh, overall, this is well thought out and well executed. The next three sticks I'm showing you are from Bermont. I think that's how you say their name. If not, let me know in the comments below. But recently, they have been hitting it out of the park. I do recommend checking them out for their builds because they've been posting some amazing stuff. I mean, look at this one here, EVA01. The layout is nice. Uh, the wiring is great. And I like the fact that they go with these three-dimensional designs. I mean, they have artwork on the very bottom. They have artwork on the bottom of the top panel, and they also use artwork on the side panels here to give a really cool effect. Their Attack on Titan stick here is no different. It follows the same format. Great wiring, great artwork, great 3D effect. The third build from Vermont here is a little bit different compared to the other two. This one uses a Versus case. If you like a loud case, well, you might want to check out a Versus case. It's a very loud case. This is a very loud build. There are a lot of subtle details here. They really go all out and don't try to cut any corners while building something. Next up, we have two Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle themed sticks and I can't decide which one I like more. You let me know which one you like more in the comments below. First up here, this is a custom hitbox style. I like the overall theme of this one. We have Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Donatello for the buttons. And just, I guess, the standard turtle color on the left-hand side. The jump button here, I can't really see what that is. I'll try to enlarge this a little bit, uh, maybe to give a bit of a better look. Um, NYC, oh, I kind of like that. Okay, that's kind of neat. So it's like the uh, sewer cover, what do they call that? The, the manhole cover, anyways, that was a nice design. This stick also has engravings on the front and on the side in the plexi. So we've got cowabunga there. I don't know what that means. 
Uh, and then they've also got Start, Home, and Select engraved. I like these little touches. And yeah, we can't forget about the wiring here. It's clean as all get out. I like that they went with the uh, green here, the light lime, I think that is, or uh, I don't know what kind of green that is, but it matches everything else. And there's also artwork underneath the top panel of this one that ties in really nicely. Overall, this is a really pretty stick. But maybe you don't like the hitbox style. Maybe you like the traditional joystick. Well, here's the other Ninja Turtle stick that we're talking about and comparing. You let me know which of these two you like in the comments below, but this is a Donatello themed stick. And yeah, it turned out nice as well. This is from JXK Designs and obviously everything from them usually turns out pretty darn good. Uh, this is nice custom artwork. I like the buttons here. I like the ball top and even the custom braided cable. The loud custom artwork continues on the bottom of the stick. And we also have the custom colors, the purple and the green for the connector. This stick's theme overall is nice. I can't decide which one I like more. But if turtles aren't your thing, maybe ghosts are. This is a huge kick right into the nostalgia. This is from Rad Thanos. They've been killing it recently. The Ghostbusters theme stick here is amazing. I like the artwork. I like the back of this. This one just brings a smile to my face. But you know, maybe you were too cool for Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters. I don't know how you'd be too cool for that, but maybe you were. Maybe instead, if you existed in the 90s, you were a skateboarder or you were too cool for that too. Anyways, this is a really cool throwback stick. I like it back to the skate scene. I don't know what the skate scene is like nowadays, but to me, this is very reminiscent of the 90s and early 2000s. If you weren't a skateboarder, did you at least play Tony Hawk? Now, maybe in the 90s, you were too old for skateboarding and Ninja Turtles and Ghostbusters. Well, maybe this stick will remind you of something else. To me, this reminds me of something from the 50s or the 60s here. Uh, I like the design of this overall, the coloring on this one. It seems very rugged, very sturdy. And I don't know the word I'm looking for, but it looks very, it looks retro without being retro. I mean, the, the old metal uh, cars, the old metal electrical boxes. Uh, this reminds me of that stuff. This reminds me of a completely different era. And I really like how this one turned out. Here's a pair of similar yet slightly different buttercade sticks. If you're not a fan of loud artwork, maybe you're a fan of loud colors. I am a really big fan of this Genesis themed hitbox. I like the artwork here and all of the little subtle touches. I mean, even the seal of quality says hitbox on it. Leader of the 12 button revolution. This is really nice hitbox up here. Uh, the not for resale, you gotta have that. Uh, overall, this is really well thought out. I'm featuring this one because of the artwork. It's custom artwork and it turned out incredibly nice. I mean, the ball top here does a really good job matching the uh, belly of Eno. Uh, the buttons are really nice. I like how it's red and black. The transition here is just incredible. Even the bottom of the stick. Overall, the layout of this one is well thought out and well done. I love this Geef theme and also the little touches. They say they're never going to work with wood again. And that's kind of unfortunate considering how well this turned out, but you can't force someone to do what they don't want to do. Now, taking a look at this here, the red ball top matches the red painted wood. I like the yellow rings that they used on the buttons to tie in with the yellow text. And I also like the fact that they stuck on some things here to the case. You don't see that very often. Uh, even the nice little touches on the top. This case turned out great. The yellow buttons on the front, they reversed the rings and the plungers here. I like the yellow around the brook. And on the bottom here, this is one thing I like. The little touch here on the bottom. So the plexi bottom uh, that has been screwed into the wood. And you can see the red Cyclone Pro Wrestling Club. I really like this theme overall. This was really well done. I mean, I don't even play Geef, but if I owned a stick like this, you'd almost feel obligated to. I wanted to highlight this stick here for two different reasons. First up, this stick is incredibly cheerful. I like what they did with the artwork. I like how they used the button inlays to continue things on here. And I like that everything is clearly labeled on the top. But if you take a look on the inside of this stick, the wiring is also amazing. I don't know what it is, but this year the wiring game from this community has been stepped up considerably. Wiring has been insane from the whole group. I'm highlighting this stick because of the effect of the artwork. They state relax and calm in the title, and I think that describes this stick perfectly. If you take a look at the colors they used, the, the tone that they used, uh, this stick to me would go great as a display piece and almost something you'd want to hang up on the wall. This stick turned out really nice. Even the back of it, I think the back of it, 
Uh, yeah, even the back of this stick is done really well. And speaking of calm, you might not agree with me here, but this scorpion theme Mortal Kombat stick turned out awesome and I find it very calming. It's just a nice looking stick overall. It's easy on the eyes. I like the smart little touch here with the gold rim on the ball top. This stick turned out great, especially the wiring. And the last of the calm and cool builds, we have the Sailor Moon AFS. I like the artwork on this one. I think this is an illustration from someone, I forget who did it though. Uh, but if we take a look, the wiring on this one is also very clean. And I like the colors they went with for the sleeves here. Overall, this is a very nice, relaxing stick. I just, I don't know what it is about these relaxing sticks. They just put me in a good mood. This Hades stick gets a shout out because of the cool artwork and also smart button inlays. I like the LEDs. I like what they went with for the button inlays here. And overall, if you're a Hades fan, you might like this stick. Now, if Hades isn't your thing, maybe Celeste is. This is a very hard platformer, but a rewarding platformer and one that I recommend trying out. I actually think it's on sale right now. I think Hades is on sale right now. Pick up both games. Uh, but anyways, this theme is nice. Uh, you can do this. I like that text there. Uh, the game can be frustrating at time, and that would be a nice reminder to say, hey, yeah, let's, let's finish this level. Uh, overall, this is a nice theme stick. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, my top five fight sticks of the month. That's not to say any of the other ones are bad because I showcased them because they're good. Well, maybe except for the first couple. Uh, but these ones here, I cheated a little bit for fifth place. In fifth place, we have two sticks because they're both made by Faux Hammer. If you take a look here, if you don't know what Faux Hammer cases are, I definitely recommend reading up on them. They're amazing cases. They're built with care, they're built well, and they're built beautifully. So this is a wooden case. Uh, if you take a look here, the details on this one are extremely nice. You can tell this one was built with skill. I mean, the buttons tie in nicely here. The wood, I think that's wood burning. I'm pretty sure it's wood burning. But anyways, the engraving here uh, is nice overall. This is a beautiful piece, something that I think you just want to display. And if that wood stain was a little bit too dark, well, here is another gorgeous faux hammer. You can tell it's a faux hammer because it says faux hammer on it. Uh, limited 2021. I think they're shutting down their store soon. So if you haven't ordered a full hammer or if you're on the fence about it, you might want to check them out pretty quickly. I like the metallic buttons they went with here. Uh, overall, this is another beautiful stick. And I almost forgot here, before we go to number four, I forgot to check out the wiring and mention that. The wiring is incredibly clean. In fourth place here, we have a stick that's pushing wiring to the next level. We've seen massive improvements from pretty much the entire community this year regarding wiring people are really upping their game. And as soon as everyone gets to a certain level, someone decides just to take it a little bit further. And that's what we have here. If I flip over to the wiring, well, first it looks very clean, but with the lights off, it's electroluminescent, and this is completely something else. Right now in the fight stick community, it kind of feels like we're getting into the Tokyo Drift era of things, where things look great on the outside, Open up the hood and underneath also looks incredible. I mean, I didn't even spend a lot of time right now talking about the outside of this stick, but one thing I do really like is the fact that it's got this 3D lowered effect near the buttons. This is well done. In third place, we have this small form factor DIY mix box style controller. This one is shaped like a keyboard, just not like the keyboard above it. Uh, I like the fact that it's clear. I like the clear buttons, the clear keycaps and I like the little flowers they placed all around on it. And they also use Cherry MX switches, and they're also LEDs. This one was created very well. I have no idea if they're gonna sell this thing, but I do know it's a prototype. I hope they make more. In second place, straight up, I have never seen anything like this before. This is something completely surreal. There is a moss terrarium inside of this bite stick. And yeah, it's real moss. I had to ask, I didn't know because I've never seen anything. I thought it might've been just like fake plants or something and maybe just a little decorative box, but no, this thing has charcoal on the bottom to filter it. And yes, the moss can exist in this kind of environment, everything closed in. This is surreal. The only negative points here is kind of with the top and the wiring. So with a clear top, you can see the wiring and you have to make sure it's clean or else it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And it does right there. But aside from that, I mean, if you're not really paying attention to that, and most people probably wouldn't, they'd be looking at the moss. It's absolutely fine. I have no idea what's going on on the front of it here. 
Uh, I'm assuming that's probably for the, the moss part of it to keep it alive. I don't know if that's where the charcoal filtering is or, or whatever. I don't know anything about moss, uh, but what I do know is that this stick is very creative and definitely something people would be talking about. I mean, if you brought this to a tournament, I don't wanna say it'd be the talk of the tournament. Some people might not care, uh, but I think a lot of people would be interested in it and also curious about it. And now for fight stick of the month for June of 2021. This one was created by the same person who won fight stick of the year in 2020, fight stick guy. So this is a spawn theme fight stick, something that probably took a lot of time and a lot of effort to just get perfect. It's really a piece of art. This fight stick is completely handmade. I'm not quite sure about the art. I think that might also be hand drawn. Uh, let me know in the comments below if it is, but overall the presentation on this one is second to none. I mean, this is incredibly clean. It looks very nice. The coordination here is amazing. Even the signature looks good. Uh, and if we take a look, they used actual chain here. Like this stick is one of a kind. Like we saw in the earlier faux hammer sticks, the buttons on the side have been cut in a little bit and this helps with accidental presses. This stick is well thought out, it's well laid out and it's very well done. So congratulations for fight stick of the month for June of 2021. This one is almost a masterpiece, unless you hate spawn. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. As always, huge shout out to the Reddit fight sticks community. You're talented, you're awesome and you create a lot of great stuff. If you're not a member of this community, what are you waiting for? Join up, have some fun. You're pretty much guaranteed to have a good time. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the sticks this month. Which one was your favorite? Did I miss something? I do miss things from time to time. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.